myself as now being an upperclassman? I mean, you kind of got to know the situation. Know that at some point, so coach, he's kind of, he's not against it, but I mean, he doesn't want somebody to go out there and cheap shot people. Because that's, I mean, we're teammates, we're brothers out there. We want to keep each other safe. So, I mean, as much as you can, you know, we'll, we'll yell and try to get people apart. But uh, I think we've actually got one of our coaches that is like the guy that splits everybody up. And as soon as he comes in, you know, everybody disperses and move on from it. But, uh, you know, you get your your frustration out and then move on, uh, like I said. But it's the fifth day. There's a lot of tension out there. Um, everybody's tired, like I said, and just trying to work through these days yeah. and keep keep working and keep getting better as much as we can. Are you still going to be doing uh, special team stuff too? Um, I, everybody is doing yeah. special teams. Uh, actually, I mean, we've not got any kind of depth charts. I know y'all probably heard that a ton. Um, it's all about being above the line. So uh, everybody's getting their work. Uh, special teams is one of the things we focus on the most in meetings. I mean, he just loves. I mean, it's, it's the biggest. It's one of the biggest parts of the game. You know, special teams uh, help win games. So uh, we're focused on that as much as we can. Did the off-season conditioning program help you uh, define who you were to the coaches? <laughs> um. In a sense, but I mean, uh, it's one thing to be a leader through workouts, another thing to lead on the field. Uh, I think um, just making that transition, which uh, we've been trying to do as much as we can with, with all our uh, teams that we had split up, but uh, everybody's still trying to, you know, lead as much as you can in whatever situation you're faced with. In terms of being, or do you feel like a receiver right now? I mean, 100%. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, running slot, um, really haven't got much opportunity to do that, so it's been quite the transition. Uh, you know, I get frustrated with myself, but Kelsey is just out there, you know, help keep pushing me to uh, get better every day uh, as much as I can. I'm learning as much as I can, watching film as much as I can, just getting out there and trying to get as many reps as possible. Does it help with the way they run practice and, I mean, you guys get way more reps than you would have in the past? Uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's a night and day difference. Um, I mean, everybody's getting reps, so it's not like anybody's got to play off. So, uh, yeah, like you said, I mean, it helps tremendously, you know, getting out there and getting to uh, run the plays as much as everybody else is, you know, getting as many reps as possible. So it's been it's been really helpful. What's the toughest part of that transition been for you? Um, probably getting in and out of breaks, you know, getting my cuts back down. Um, that's probably my biggest thing. Uh, just trying to get my feet under me because, I mean, it's, it's kind of foreign to me right now, but I'm going to keep pushing myself as hard as I can to keep working as much as I can to improve in that, in that area um, just to be able to go out there and contribute as much as I can each day. There's some early enrollees out there going through it for the first mm -hmm. time. What have you seen from them? They've done awesome. I mean, uh, Coach points them out just about every day, just how much work they're putting in. Uh, Marion Brown, uh, one of the other slot receivers, fastest dude I've ever seen on the field. Absolutely incredible speed. Gets in and out of his breaks. Probably faster than anybody I've seen. So honestly, as an upperclassman, I'm watching him, uh, trying to see what I can learn from his from his moves. Um, I know we're built quite a bit differently, but uh, he's he's phenomenal at it, so I'm trying to you know, learn as much as I can from him. And then Jordan Hub and all the other guys on defense and all that, I mean, they made the transition uh, really, really good. I've been proud of them. Uh, it's really fun to watch. What's, uh, I guess, physically, how do you, you're a week, week and a half into this now. How does it compare to with maybe how you felt like a week and a half into old practice and stuff? Um, I mean, like you said, we're getting a whole lot of reps. So, I mean, everybody's, you know, today was probably one of the toughest days we've had. Just, you know, fifth day getting out there, trying to get over this hump, keep working through uh, to push the rest of the practices. Um, I mean, it's, it's been a lot different. I mean, this this transition from, you know, from last spring to this spring, there's been, like I said, a lot more reps here, a lot more tired. Uh, but, I mean, we've conditioned for that in the offseason. Y'all have seen all the videos that we've been going through. None of that's fake. Like, that's we've been pushing ourselves every single day as hard as we can. So, when we come out here, we try to do the same thing. So Did you, you like, give any thought to, like, seeing if you could play running back? Or did you feel like slot is probably more of a way? Um, well, they, they said just be as dynamic as possible. So, I'm um, trying to learn as much as I can at slot right now and, you know, maybe get thrown in at running back. Uh, I'm not really sure what the plan is right now. I'm just doing whatever they want me to do. And however I can contribute to the team, well, I'm able to do it. Um, I don't want to be selfish in that aspect, you know, uh, push people when I can push people and push myself every time I get the chance. Have you and Jalen kind of taken the leadership reins in terms of that room? And um, Honestly, it's been kind of nice because we kind of all lead with each other because we all want to bring each other along and do, uh, and do as uh, good as we can. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say there's one that's higher than the other right now. I'm sure that'll come with time. You know, it always does. You know, your leaders start to separate themselves. but. We'll continue to do whatever the coaches need us to do. And, you know, like I said, in our group right now, it's just, I feel like we've all messed pretty pretty well and we're going to keep working together. What do you think how, do you like, how do you like practicing in the morning? It's honestly really nice. You get done, you know, uh, and then you go to class and you're done for the day. You're not going to come back to uh, 
to practice per se, but you know you want to watch as much film as you can. So we try to get in there and watch film uh, on our own. We've got you know those little apps on our phone where we can watch as much as we want. Um, so that's nice. But it's nice being done with the physical practice part in the morning. Then you can kind of try to perfect your craft uh, during the day. You think about the money down emphasis and the signs and. It's awesome. It turns it up. I mean, it, it, it's put a whole lot more emphasis on those. I mean, trying to get our mind wrapped around those situations and what's really going on, you know, so we pay attention to things like that. Um, you know, it's, it's a big emphasis in games to make those big plays on those big downs. Um, so every day we've got different situations that, we, that we're faced with, and um, it's training us for the season to be able to work through those. And, you know, like you said, it's loud and hectic, but it's, uh, I think it'll pay off when the season comes. I'm curious, the terminology, like last, you know, in Coach Johnson's playbook, like 12 was a play or 13, and I'm curious, like, how much more for both, I guess, is, is what you guys are handling now. What do you mean? Like, how, like a lot more words and, 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 and you know, things in, in, in a play call. It is, but, I mean, you know, every position's kind of got what they got to listen for. Uh -huh. um, so it's it sounds like a lot, but really when you when you study it, when you get it down, you know, it's kind of just like second. It's just like anything else. The more you get the reps, the more you practice. Uh, the more second nature it becomes. So, you know, that's really what we're trying to get down right now with, with everything.